welcome. Do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Exclusive. As you can see, my beautiful people, um, the purported investigation against uh, Ashwa Jubala Metinumbu our Progressive Congress, the uh, United Kingdom, threatens court action against uh, Rise uh, TV and others. Mm, that's what it is, and others. And uh, this is what we're going to do. Well, as it stands, uh, the United Kingdom uh, chapter of the All Progressive uh, Congress, ABC has uh, threatened court action against Rise TV and other media houses that had a piece of fake uh, news, or rather, I had. You know, the news about uh, Bola Metinumbu, the presidential candidate of the People's, uh, sorry, of the All Progress, All Progressive Congress, Bola Metinumbu, uh, and now the presidential candidate of the party, Ashwaju Bola Metinumbu, where it was alleged that uh, the Ashwaju Tinumbu is under investigation of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, for a fraud committed in the United States uh, some years ago. Uh, this, was, uh, this was contained in a statement uh, made available to the press in the late hour of uh, Saturday by the chairman of the APC United Kingdom uh, Presidential Campaign Committee, Barista J.K. Adebola. In the statement, Adebola formed at uh, Arise TV and other media houses regarding the allegation of drug uh, business by Ashiwa Jubala Metinumbu. Uh, the presidential candidate of uh, All Progressive Congress, uh, and also saying that this did not only uh, leave Arise TV with faces on its face, but both uh, smacks of uh, recklessness and the uh, journalistic uh, rascality of a uh, humongous proportion. Oh my God. <laughs> too early. Too early to be puzzling. Um, grammatical, you know, fundamental as it is. Uh, it is uh, inconceivable. Uh, that the news uh, agency like RS uh, TV would air such a baseless and errant fake news uh, without as much as basic due diligence uh, being uh, deployed to ascertain the veracity of a story that carries uh, with it the propensity of uh, maligning the character and person of uh, Ashiwa Jubala Metunubu. Now, this uh, incessant uh, character assassination of our uh, presidential candidate ever since he threw his heart into the ring to contest for the uh, presidency of Nigeria is taking an, another dangerous uh, dimension and needs to the uh, uh, to the night in the board uh, board rather the APC UK chapter therefore call on the appropriate authorities uh, saddled with the responsibility of ensuring sanity and the decorum in news uh, dissemination to stand up and do the needful now uh, to avoid a choreographed uh, concerted efforts by a section of the news media to cause a uh, conflagra uh, conflagration yeah, and set our nascent democracy on fire in their bid to stop Ashwajibala Metinumbu in his quest uh, for and also to become our next president. That is coming from the United Kingdom chapter APC uh, committee, chairman committee, or Adebola. We also call on the security agencies uh, to keep a close uh, eye and watch on the fake news uh, most of them you know bring out uh, and also from the merchant and ensure they have brought a book uh, before they set the country on fire now we stand solidly behind uh, and on the mandate of the tinumbu shatima ticket and will continue to campaign until victories are attained at the polls in 2023 now adibola therefore said that these media houses should should be prepared uh, to meet them in court if necessary actions were not taken. Among his requests is a formal apology to the person of Ashwa Jubala Metinubu, uh, the All Progressive Congress APC, and the Nigerians uh, in general. Wow, well, this is coming from, you know, the uh, uh, purported investigation against uh, Ashwa Jutinubu uh, APC, United Kingdom threatens court action against RIS TV and others. Uh, for those that uh, are carrying fake news. I don't know where the fake news is coming from because uh, Tinubu has never come out to say he is not guilty of the allegation. In other words, four hundred sixty thousand dollars was uh, forfeited, you know, during that time uh, when the charge were, you know, indicted on him or there about four hundred sixty thousand dollars. Now, as it is, that money is a huge amount of money. Uh, then, 1993. So now, 2022 is a huge amount of money. So, if uh, anybody is going to support anybody, uh, it shouldn't be uh, uh, Tinubu that should be supported or there. But, but you know, concerning this uh, criminal charge, I'm not talking about the political 
uh, election and other things I'm talking about. Uh, this uh, uh, criminal charge that was laid against him. And uh, Adebola is telling us uh, because uh, the United Kingdom chapter of the All Progressives uh, Congress, APC, has threatened the cough action against Arise TV and other media houses that aired a piece of fake news about the presidential candidate of the party. Ashiwaju Bola met Tinubu, uh, where it was alleged that the Ashiwaju Tinubu is under investigation of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, for a fraud committed in the United States some years ago. Now, this was contained in a statement made available to the press in a late hour uh, of Saturday uh, by the chairman of the APC United Kingdom Presidential Campaign Committee, Barrister J.K. Adebola. Uh, well, in his statement, Adebola affirmed at uh, Arise TV and other media houses regarding the allegation of drug uh, business by Ashwaji Bola and Metinubu. Uh, the presidential candidate of APC uh, saying that uh, this did not only leave uh, Arise TV with uh, faces on its uh, face but smacks on recklessness and a uh, journalistic rascality of a uh, humongous uh, proportion. Well, it is inconceivable that a news agency like Arise TV would air such a baseless and errant fake uh, news uh, without as much as basic uh, due diligence uh, being deployed to ascertain the veracity of a story that carries uh, with it the pro uh, propensity of uh, maligning the character and a uh, person of uh, Ashwajibola Metinumbu. Now, this is coming from uh, uh, the UK chapter because uh, they have been, you know, soli uh, solidarity uh, for uh, Tinumbu to become the president by all means. Now, uh, this incessant character assassination of our presidential candidate over uh, and also sends he through his act into the ring to contest for the presidency of Nigeria. Uh, it is taking on another dangerous uh, dimension and needs to uh, be nipped in the board. Now, uh, the APC All Progressive Congress United Kingdom chapter therefore call on the appropriate uh, authorities uh, saddled with the uh, responsibility of ensuring sanity and uh, decorum in news uh, dissemination to stand up and do the needful now to avoid a choreographed concerted uh, effort by a section of the news media to cause a conflagration and uh, set our nascent uh, democracy on fire in their bid to stop Ashwaju Balame Tinubu in his quest to becoming uh, our next uh, president that is coming from you know the supporters in the United Kingdom. Uh, we stand solidly behind and also on the mandate of the Tinubu Shatima ticket and will continue to campaign until victory is ascertained. Uh, and at all the opposing in 2023, victory ascertained. And that is what it is. Adibala, therefore, in his uh, closing remark, therefore said uh, that these media houses should be prepared to meet them in court if necessary actions were not taken. Among his uh, requests is a formal apology uh, to the person of Ashivaju Balametinubu, the APC, and the Nigerians uh, in general. Uh, well, uh, time may not permit us to go further. This way, I'm going to draw the curtain. I'd like you to share your views in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and also share this news so that others can be aware. Thanks for listening and God bless you.